I want to talk a little bit about what happens to cast members that aren't assigned on a particular step, where they go, what's done with them, and how that can affect making your transitions and one of the, the options you have for how to make transitions. For the sake of argument, let's say we're on step zero. We have some cast members. They're on a form which is an ellipse. Now let's say we're going to just step forward. We want to move this ellipse to four lines. We could actually right click on here and do a transition, but I want to show you how to make transitions without even using the transition command. I want to show you one way to do it. So let's say we step forward, we hit the foot button, and we'll just go to step uh, 18. You see you're in step 18 because of the status here says step 18. And also on your ruler here, you notice this line is moved. This is showing your current position. You notice that it's moving forward. Funny thing happened with the cast members. We have no forms. They have no place to go, so they go to the sideline. That's the default behavior. But it's not the only possible behavior. If you go up to uh, Options View, Sideline the Homeless is the default. This is for what to do with unassigned or homeless cast members. They have no form to go to. They go to the sidelines. If you uncheck that, they do a different thing. They stay wherever they last were. This is, uh, it can be very useful because it allows you to visualize where you were at before. And here's how you can use that. I'll show you a couple of ways. Let's say we want to make our four lines. You could start by drawing a line, take your people pointer, select some people, drag them to the form. And you could actually always see what your motion looks like. Notice how we have one straggler. You can't depend on the order of people when you just drop them on a form like that. You never know exactly what order they're going to be in. It might not be the order you want them to be in. So one way to fix that is with sort commands. You right click on the form, sort cast. It will sort by previous layout. And in a future lesson, I'll explain what all these sorts do. But previous layout's going to work. And now we see that our motion looks good. Now, Notice that we do now have a form on step 18. You see it in our window. There's our ellipse. Here's our line that we just made. I'll show you another way to, I could have done the same thing. Select the cast. Go up here to cast. Choose this command, create formation from selected cast. And it just does it automatically. It's created a line for you. You can move that using your handles to wherever you want it to go. Now it did the same thing. See? Let's just do that a couple more times. We're selecting these with the people pointer. Now I'm just going to hit Control F because we see on our menu the shortcut for this command is Control F. So it's easier to select these people on your keyboard, hit Control F, and you just made a form. Select some other people, hit Control F again, and you just made another form. So without using the transition command at all, we've now created a transition. That could be part of the show. You can always check the motion just by dragging back and forth in your ruler. So just to establish what we've done, here's our ellipse. Here's our new, uh, our new picture with our four forms that are all lines. We can move these about. Now we see the red is indicating that these exceed, exceed our maximum steps. So you can actually hit here control I it's going to insert four steps because it calculates that's how many you would need to make the path not be too long hit OK now we're still here on this step but now the formation is going to be on 22 now we have an ellipse here this formation on 22 so just to establish that again we could actually go to a third um, formation so let's just say we take our step and we pop it forward again. Now again we've stepped off the end of the show using our foot. You see on our ruler here we have a formation always at zero, a formation at 22. Now we're at 35 nothing happening. So what do we do? Let's just say, just for the sake of argument, let's just say there are two ellipses. So we take these two people here. We have this ellipse. We have this other ellipse. Now we've drawn some forms. Let's just take our formation pointer, size these a little bit. 
I'm not saying this is good show design. It's just an example of how to do this. Now take our person pointer. We're selecting these. Drag them on this form. Select these. Drag them on that form. Now obviously the motion here, not very good. If you could actually see it. Doesn't look that great. But one thing we can do is use this tool. We've talked about this before. That's the cast shifter. You drag it along your ellipse. And now this looks a little bit better. Now to see how the people on this one aren't crossing over when we move. Let's start to work on this one. As you use this, you just drag it along the form. You can see the paths. You see them changing as you do this. So I dragged it and shifted them a little bit. Now this looks a little more reasonable. People are getting to where they're going. They're not stepping on one another because you use your shift tool. Hit control I to insert some more steps because they're going sufficiently far that we need to give them some time. Now we've done that. So basically what we talked about is this is one way you could do a whole show just this way if you wanted to. You would never have to use the transition command if you don't want to. But this is a technique you can combine with other techniques. And the thing I want to get across is you do have to go up here and view and uncheck this option. If you want people to stay on the sidelines, let's make this really clear again. We're going to step off the end of the show again. Now they're wherever they were last. That's your option that you checked. If you check this and go sideline the homeless, now they're on the sidelines. So it's not as easy from this to see where they were before. So if you go up here, uncheck this, now they stay where they were. So now if you want to do something like um, put these on two rectangles, they're staying where they were last. So it's easy to see what you want to do with them and which ones you're selecting. Select these two guys, put them on, put them on, we'll drag them onto that rectangle. You can use your shift tool, your sort tools, whatever you need to do to get your pathing sorted out. So people are doing something reasonable. Now we've made another. Now we go from ellipse to four lines to two ellipses. Then we're going to two rectangles. It's not a great show. It's just an example of a technique you want to be aware of. You can use this all day long to design your shows and pretty much even improvise a show from starting from zero and just moving shapes around and dragging people onto forms. And we'll talk about other ways to do transitions, but I think that's enough uh, to talk about for now.